I don't know about you guys, but I'm someone who really finds myself just being a lot more productive and happy when I have a clean environment. Marie Kondo said that tidying your physical space allows you to tend to your psychological space, and I find that to be very true for me. This is our current cleaning routine and how we like to keep our space fresh and nice just to appreciate the home that we get to have. I really hope this video finds the right target audience because I know this isn't something that is interesting for everyone, but I personally love cleaning. I love watching people clean. I love finding motivation by watching these videos. And so I wanted to share kind of like our cleaning routine with you guys and also just do a little clean with me. If you like montages, if you like satisfying cleaning videos, this is the video for you. And if you like it, let me know and feel free to subscribe. I make a lot of other lifestyle content here on YouTube. I wanna say from the beginning that I'm not the only one who cleans our apartment. I'm just filming myself cleaning, so it just happens to be that way in this video. But me and my husband, we share a lot of these responsibilities. I do like cleaning a lot. It definitely helps put me in the right mindset. I love just having a clean space, but we do share these responsibilities. I'm just sharing myself doing them because this is my channel. I also wanna say that this isn't the most perfect routine. I'm not perfect at this. We're not perfect at this. And I know that life can get really hectic and I'm not saying that you have to do all these things to have like a perfect home by any means. I know everyone's in busier seasons of life and I know one day when we have kids that this is gonna be probably a lot different, probably a lot harder to keep up with. But right now when it's just us two and our puppy, pretty doable to keep up this routine. So I wanted to share it with you guys. When my friend Allison Biggerstaff moved into her home, she did one of these videos and it was really helpful because she broke it out. Like these are the tasks that I do each week and then I have bigger tasks that I will try to do one every single day instead of looping them all into one specific cleaning day and so the way that I broke it out is similar to that because ever since watching her video I've tried to kind of implement that same cleaning routine I will say that we end up doing a lot of the bigger tasks on one day typically on a Sunday beginning of the week I'm not really great at making sure I check off one of the bigger tasks every single day I kind of have to be in the right mindset to clean and so we only live in a one-bedroom apartment but our apartment is about 1200 to 1300 square feet so it's a larger apartment so it does feel like kind of like a small house and so it is really easy for it to get dirty especially our windows we have pretty large windows and yeah it's a big reason why i don't like to have a lot of stuff and i like to keep things minimal because that means you also have less to clean but the daily things that we try to do every day, I've talked about this in quite a few videos, but it's just generally keeping the place clean, picking up clothes that are all over the place. Usually in the morning, I'll do like a 20 minute kind of sweep and clean up the place. We usually get tired at night, so we don't usually do it at night, but picking up clothes and then also taking out trash. This isn't something that I really ever do, I'm gonna be honest. We have a recycling bin too that we break down our cardboard boxes and take out. So trying to do that every day so trash doesn't accumulate. We live in an apartment, so we do have to go take our trash to a trash room that's decently far but making our bed there's not a day that goes by that our bed does not get made this is just really important for me specifically but something that i do like to do is actually let our bed breathe a little bit so when we wake up in the morning we don't make it right away we usually make it about an hour after because there are so many things that get trapped in your bed when you're sleeping so many different germs and particles that's kind of gross but things can get trapped and it's nice to make sure that it kind of airs out so that's something i started doing I saw Sarah Therese mentioned in a video because we have a golden retriever vacuuming every day is another thing that is super important because he sheds so much that's one of the questions I get asked a lot and the answer is yes he shed so much and so we recently got a Dyson animal and I love using it vacuuming is one of my favorite chores because it's just so satisfying so we typically like to run that every single day and a tip if you want a Dyson I know they're crazy expensive check Facebook marketplace there was a guy who was selling one that he I think he bought it on on sale and marked up the price technically for him but it was cheaper for me because I got it I think like $150 cheaper than it would have been at Target and so check Facebook marketplace that's a great way to save money especially if you're just furnishing a house in general I love me a good Facebook marketplace find so I'd highly recommend loading and unloading our dishwasher our dishwasher is actually broken right now for some reason the pods keep falling out and so we've just been hand washing our dishes until our maintenance people can come fix it which I don't really mind that much we don't have that many dishes every single morning I'm usually the one who unloads and then Aiden cleans up after dinner because I typically make dinner and he loads it and it's so nice to just make sure that your kitchen is clean when you wake up in the morning and that you don't have to scurry to 
to clean up the kitchen. I love Milena Ciciotti. I love her videos and she talked about this concept of like closing your kitchen at night, cleaning it, because it does make a difference when you just wake up and your place is clean, especially your kitchen. Wiping down our kitchen counters, that kind of goes along with that, just getting all the grime off. We have black kitchen counters, so it really does show every single piece of dirt that happens to be on the counter. So I have these washcloths that I also heard from Milena. They're just these kind of squares that you can reuse because I've been trying to use less paper towels when I'm cleaning and those are nice because I even put them in the wash. I don't really know if that's something you should do, but I got them from Amazon and I really like them. So I'll have them linked down below, but I'll usually just wipe down the counter with those. And then just to keep the place smelling nice, I always like to diffuse oils as well as just burning candles. I know with a dog, a lot of people have asked me, how do you make sure that the oils are safe for dogs? There's a list that you can Google and I know lavender is one of the ones that's safe. So typically we just do lavender in our diffuser, but there's a list of quite a few. I think ginger's on there, frankincense. I'll have it on the screen right here, but I just have a cheap Amazon diffuser and it honestly does the job really well. I have that in our bedroom and then just burning candles because it's nice to keep your place smelling fresh. And I just love the ambiance of those things more so than than actually what they're doing. So the weekly things that I like to do, one for the kitchen is like I mentioned, just make sure that the counters are clean, but also cleaning out our sink. And I recently started doing this probably about a month ago. Our sink gets really gross because I do cook a lot and a lot goes down the disposal. And so I like to actually do a weekly clean of the disposal itself. And I found this hack, basically all you do is you rub in baking soda with a sponge and then you spray it with white vinegar and then you just let it foam for a bit. I usually leave it for about 15 minutes and then you just rinse your sink, you let it air dry and then once it's dry, you take a lemon and you just cut it in half and then you put it down the disposal and run the disposal and it leaves your kitchen sink smelling so fresh and so clean and there's just a lot of gunk that gets caught up in a kitchen sink and so it's nice just to do that every single week especially when you're cooking a lot and it makes your kitchen smell really good i also like to clean out our fridge we typically do this when we grocery shop so just getting rid of old food i think we could be better at this one but i really like having a clean fridge making sure to wipe it down with just a normal all-purpose cleaner i've been using this cleaner that i think is more natural i really want to use all natural products if you guys have a good recommendation for an all natural cleaning brand i would love for you to leave it down below because I would love to transition to something like this, but it's hard. I feel like even when you buy them from the store, there's just so many that look like they're clean, but they're not actually clean. So feel free to leave them down below. I would love to know what you personally use, but I've been using this brand of an all-purpose cleaner and I just refill it in a refillable spray bottle. And that's what I use to wipe everything down. And then cleaning our mirrors and our windows because Cash likes to sit at our windows, there's so many smudges up there. So each week we just like to go through and clean down our windows we also have quite a few mirrors because mirrors really do open up your space we use a microfiber cloth which is nice because it doesn't leave any smudges and again it's very satisfying so we like to do that another one that we have not done enough and it's so gross in this video but is dusting your place in general but especially your fans i recently started doing this more because our fan gets so gross in our bedroom and i'm sorry you have to look at it in this video because it is really gross but make sure you dust your fans your shelves because that really can make you sick when you have dust just accumulating in your home. Making sure that you dust those kind of hard to reach areas, areas that you often forget about because those things count too. And then of course, just cleaning our bathroom. This is my least favorite thing to do. So again, this is something that I don't typically do a lot of. I would say Aiden does more of, but cleaning our toilets, scrubbing our bathtub that's the thing that i hate the most because it takes just a lot of effort to do we do these things in this order too by the way i don't think i mentioned that but I like to do it in this order scrubbing down everything making sure that you get all the gunk off because again a bathroom's an area that a lot of that stuff just likes to fester and then again just vacuuming but something that i like to do especially every week i saw this from chris and john she has this carpet powder recipe and i love doing this essentially all you do is you mix a cup of baking soda and then then a bunch of different essential oils. I think she used lemon, eucalyptus, and lavender, but again, we just use dog safe 
safe ones. You let that sit for 15 minutes on your carpets, your rugs, and then you vacuum it up with your vacuum. And oh my goodness, it leaves the most fresh scent. I especially love to do this before people come over because it just smells so good. And yeah, our carpets in our bedroom are really gross because we did potty train our dog and a lot of those stains are kind of left over. So we probably will not be getting our security deposit back. I have loved doing that ever since watching her video. I just love Kristen John's. I love her cleaning routine videos. She's the best. So I love doing that once a week. And then of course, just mopping our floors. I just use one of those Swiffer wet jets, which probably isn't the best, but it's easy to do. So we do our kitchen, our living room, and then also our bathroom probably once a week. Because again, you'll notice that a lot of stuff gets picked up. Our kitchen has black floors, so it shows every little piece of food or dirt or anything. And then just watering and misting our plants. We have a few plants. We have our fiddle leaf tree. I have a fern plant. We have a palm plant that's a recent addition as well as a pothos. And so those are all kind of on different watering schedules, but I like to make sure I just water those. And I usually do that within our cleaning routine because it's just easy to remember. And then also misting them with a mister because a lot of those plants like to have more humid climates. And laundry is another thing that's probably my least favorite chore. So this is one that I would say Aiden does a lot more than me because I'm just not a big laundry person. About once a week, we'll do laundry. We usually like to do our darks and our lights. And this is typically when we'll also wash our bedding. Big fan of washing our bedding every single week because again, we have a dog and he's on our furniture. I mean, I'm someone who believes your furniture is meant to be lived in. So we try to take good care of everything, but I also like when he's in our bed and everything. So we just wash our sheets more often. And along with washing our sheets, we'll typically wash our towels once a week as well then. And then sometimes I will throw in our blankets. The blankets end up being something that is sometimes monthly, sometimes weekly. I would say probably every couple of weeks we'll wash our blankets, the ones that are behind me right now and then also in Cash's crate we have a mat in there as well as a blanket and then he has a cover that we like to put over it just so it kind of matches her room more but we will wash all this stuff about once a week again because he can get really gross he spends a lot of time in the dog park so we like to wash those with kind of all the bedding and everything i used to use those wool balls that you would put essential oils on instead of using dryer sheets but someone told me that that's flammable to do so i haven't done it ever since but let me know if you know of a more natural way to dry your clothes so leave them just like feeling more fresh because I would like to do that again, but it just always made me nervous. I didn't want our dryer just to go up in flames while we're gone, so. And then the monthly things that we like to do. So I love our couch. It was probably one of the most expensive things we got in our home. And so I like to use one of these fabric shavers and we just go through and shave the fabric. It gets all the pillings off. And again, because we have cash, his claws can kind of rip up. And then we'll usually try to wash our slip covers about once a month, but we're not really that great at that. So I'm not gonna pretend like that happens all the time, but I love the fabric shaver. It really does make your couch just look a lot more new and fresh without actually having to do anything. And then you guys know I like to keep my clothing pretty minimal. I mean, recently I haven't been as minimal as I used to, but I still like to go through monthly and get rid of clothes. So I'll either donate them or sell them on Poshmark if I have the time to, or depending on if it's stuff that I get for free, I will typically just try to donate that because I don't want to make money off that. If I sell them on Poshmark, I will typically just give the money away that I make from them. This really helps instead of just doing like a super large declutter at the end of the season, I find doing it monthly keeps my closet just feeling a lot more minimal and then also only having the things that I'm actually wearing because I do like to pack up all my seasonal items and then bring them out when the season comes. There are also a few cabinets that we have that I would say get really unorganized, specifically this utility closet. So once a month, we'll try to go through these cabinets as well as our linen cabinet that we have or our linen closet and just go through there and make sure anything needs to be reorganized or get rid of anything and keep that area feeling nice and clean as well because those are areas that are often easy to forget about. Once a month, we like to wash our shower curtain as well, just take that off and then sometimes replace the liner, but that's not a monthly thing. That's just when it needs to be replaced. And then also just washing our bathroom rugs. So those are washable in there, which is so nice. So we'll just pop those into the washer, pop them into the dryer or just air dry them. And I find that that helps a lot too. We could probably do that more often, but they don't really get that dirty in the bathroom. But those are things that I also like to try to wash. And that is everything for our cleaning routine. I hope 
hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was satisfying. I know my last decluttering video, a lot of people enjoyed that one because it was just one of those satisfying videos to watch. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And also feel free to let me know what your cleaning routine is down below. I would love to hear how you keep your place tidy. And again, it just goes back to, for me, appreciating the space that I'm in. I never want to take any space for granted, even if it's not my dream place that I want to be living. I mean, our apartment is a dream for me. I love living here. I think it's such a beautiful space, but of course I look forward to having a house one day and taking care of a house, but I just always want to remember to appreciate the things that I have. So I think keeping your space clean is just one of those things that helps you appreciate it more. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.